everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be plugging my old skincare into Stasia.co. So you may be wondering what is Stasia.co and why are you going to plug your old beauty products into it? And the answer truly is simple. I found out about a year ago that I was suffering from something called fungal acne and now there is a long list of ingredients that I cannot use in my beauty products. The reason is those ingredients promote the growth of fungal acne. And if you guys wanna know more about fungal acne, you can click the link right now or in the description bar below so that you can educate yourself on it. I have made tons of videos on the topic itself. And don't forget, if you also like beauty, fashion, pop culture, and shiny things, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now so you don't miss out. So this is a box of my old beauty products, and I would say that this is only about a quarter of my old collection. And you guys may be wondering, why do you still have a box full of products that you can no longer use? And the answer is super simple. You guys, this box is worth tons of money. It was expensive, okay? And I don't feel okay partying with it just because of that reason. But on the bright side, I do still have these products and now we get to check them in Sazia.co so we can see how many bad ingredients are actually in each product. So I'm going to take a look at my laptop and visit Sazia.co right now. I went ahead and took 10 products out of the beauty box. They're a mix of makeup and skincare. And I tried to pick products that are not only the ones I used every single day, but also products that are cult classics. We are on Sazia.co and I'm going to put in the first product, which are the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So I've already got my ingredients list copied and pasted and let's just see how many baddies come up in this. All right, we've got five ingredients in this. One is glycerin, which I'm not as concerned about, but the other ones are esters and lipids. So. That was $59 down the drain. We have got the Fab Skin Lab Retinol Serum, which is 0.25% pure concentrate um, of retinol. And we are plugging this in. And if you guys wanna know more about the actual bad ingredients in these and why they're so harmful to fungal acne, I'm gonna link my playlist right now where I kind of break ingredients down for you guys so you can learn more about it. All right, this one has come up with a whopping 10 ingredients known to promote the growth of malassezia. And I have to say, this was one of my tried and trues. I used this nonstop. So we're gonna take it over to makeup um, for the next two. And I've got my Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. What a freaking mouthful. Um, by It Cosmetics. And this was another one that I used religiously. And it has oh, a whopping two ingredients, one of which is only glycerin, so it has one ester in it. So that's actually pretty promising, to be honest. This is a comically small bottle of the Pixie Glow Tonic, which is a beauty standby for so many people. Um, but this is my travel bottle. I no longer own a large bottle of it. Um, so I just put this one in and it has glycerin as one and also only one other bad ingredient, which is an ester. So PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil, which we know about castor oil. Um, I used to put that on my skin too. What a time in life. All right, you guys, so we are on to the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Um, I used to wear this pretty much every day as my foundation, um, and this is one of those brands that's very green and clean and all of that, so it's one of those type things, and it has two esters and one fatty acid, so it actually only has three ingredients that would promote the growth of Malassezia, which I'm actually kind of surprised by considering it's such a natural brand. All right, you guys, so I am plugging in the ingredients list for one of the Bite Beauty Lip Crayons. This is one of the older style ones. Um, for sure, I've had this for forever, so I wouldn't feel bad about throwing this away. It's in the color pomegranate, which I don't know that they make unless it's at Christmas time anymore. And funny little story about this one. It has eight ingredients which promote the growth of Malassezia. We've got, let's see, one, two, three lipids, 
four, fe four esters and one fatty acid. And one of the things that made me first start buying Bite Beauty products, which I used to swear by, was because um, they were technically a gluten-free product and I am someone who identifies as being gluten-free with my diet. And so I thought these would help me back when I was having so many rashes on my lips, like I would be broken out all on the top of my lip, all on the bottom, different severity levels all the time. And to, to like realize now that this product that I thought was helping me so much was actually causing me way more problems than probably even the like more unnatural lipsticks is just so crazy to me. I think that's one of the biggest like revelations I've had is like, wow, I had no idea how to narrow this down. And now that I know, I would never put some product that isn't fungal acne safe on my lips just because out of everything I had, I feel like that was something that was so embarrassing for me to deal with and it made me feel so self-conscious. Um, okay, now this is one that I know is going to be really, really terrible because we've talked about it in a previous video. Um, it's the Sunday Riley UFO oil. So let's plug it in. All right, guys, it's fact checking our UFO oil and <laughs> we come up with 11 ingredients. We have got 10 lipids, one ester. Can you even imagine? This is one of those products that is completely full still because I only used it like two times, I think, total. Uh, but this product is free for the taking for anyone who would like to destroy their skin um, in the most aggressive way possible. All right, we've got two more to go. We're gonna plug in one of my Charlotte Tilbury favorites, which is the Unisex Healthy Glow. Um, this is kind of like a complexion evener and it just kind of, um, gives you this like tinted glowiness to your skin that I, it's like a no foundation foundation and honestly this stuff was incredible when I used to use it like I thought it really worked um so let's go ahead and see what it comes up with oh you know okay so this one is not all so bad so in this one we've only got two ingredients that could promote the growth of malassezia the first one is glycerin which does not bother me personally and then the second one is actually an unverified ingredient which is magnesium stearate so this is something that i could once i maybe cleared up my skin i would consider maybe using again but probably not anytime very soon last but not least we have glossier solution which is glossier's um, answer to acne and fighting acne and it is a 0.5 percent salicylic acid but it's also a combination of ahas bhas and phas um, 10 percent is what they say and it is um, targeted to an acne treatment and it has i actually have this written on the bottle what it has in it um, two ingredients. It's actually not terrible. The glycerin is one of the ingredients. And then the other ingredients is an ester PEG 60 hydrogenated castor oil. Um, so that would be a really big red flag for me. Um, meaning I would not try to put this on my skin if I was trying to clear acne in any way. So we are on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Now, this was one of my favorite palettes that I ever bought when it came out and I used it quite a bit before I discovered I had fungal acne, um, but they no longer make this one. However, it would be very similar in makeup ingredient wise to all of her other palettes. And in this one, we've actually got six known ingredients. One is glycerin, and then they have one ester, one fatty acid, one lipid, and then there are two products here that are unverified. So it's kind of up to you when it comes to an unverified product, whether or not you think that's gonna be a problem for you. Um, in this case, we have zinc myristate and zinc sterate, and both of these are ones that I commonly see in eyeshadows, which is why it's not only important that you swap out your foundations and your lipsticks and all those things, but also also your eyeshadows because that can fall onto your face you know fallout gets onto your skin through the day and just honestly it being around your eyes would kind of freak me out as well because it could cause you to have eczema around your eyes which can be very painful um, and irritating and hard to get rid of the three main takeaways that I have from this experience are one I am surprised by the lack of bad ingredients in some of the products I was using every day and then the extreme amount of bad ingredients in others the second thing is I am glad that I no longer just spend, spend, spend on beauty products that I'm not sure whether or not they're gonna work for me. And the products that I do purchase right now are ones that are not only accessible, but they seem to be much more affordable than these other products. 
And then the third thing is I no longer have buyer's remorse, which is when I would go and buy a product that promised to like save my skin and fix it like this UFO oil, which was probably like 50 something dollars um, or these Elmas pads are in the same price range. And I would get them home and I would use them. And after one night, I could see that either they wreaked havoc on my skin in this case, or they just didn't really do anything and my skin was either worse or just the same. And therefore, I've ended up with full bottles of both of these products still and many of the others that you saw today. So now the moment we have all been waiting for, I am going to finally tally up the contents of this box and put a value on it. Now I want you guys to go right now into the comment section and guess how much money you think this box is worth. And if you get it right, or if you get really close to it, I'm going to go down there and heart your comment and also leave you a flying money emoji as a way of rewarding you for your efforts. So let's find out. Okay guys, so if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and you can subscribe so you don't miss any more of my future videos. If you want to, you can also follow along with me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar and visit brooksbeautybazaar.com where you can download fungal acne safe product lists from both Target and Walmart by simply signing up for my email list over there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.